We're at the renal unit of the Kolobu Teaching Hospital and um, according to management, it is opened to outpatients. What we understand is that there are sessions daily and the session starts from as early as 2 a.m. all the way through to 10 p.m. We also understand that this same center also caters to inpatients, that is people who have been admitted at the Kolobu Teaching Hospital. We're going to go inside and um, see for ourselves if indeed it has been opened to patients. So we're entering the premises of the renal center and um, we see some people here. We're going to speak to a couple of them so that they can tell us how it is going. How, how was the experience like not being able to do your dialysis on a daily basis? Uh, oh, it's really awful. It's, it's not a pleasant thing to cry because sometimes we don't get the money to go outside. So we are really happy that the unit is open now. Uh -huh. Yes. And um, your, you call your, uh, the days you come here sessions. Are you done with yours? No, please. It's so when will you get your session? Uh, probably Friday. Yes, please. Why, why Friday? Yeah, uh, those days we used to, we have days that we come. Uh -huh. I used to come on Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh -huh. So definitely Friday will be my turn. And what about you? How relieved are you that the center is open to outpatients? I'm very much relieved, even though we will be paying, but as compared to the private, this one is better. Yeah. Does that mean that you've been going to private hospitals for your dialysis whilst this one was closed? Yes. Yeah. And, and how expensive was that? Yeah, some take 500, 550, 650, and up, up, up. It goes. <laughs> have you finished your session as you're sitting here? No, I have not finished. I'll be coming tomorrow. I came here to do some labs. That is required of me. We have another patient here who um, has just finished her session on the dialysis machine. We're going to speak to her and uh, let her explain how it went for her. You're welcome to the city newsroom. Ma, and I be a dialysis center no at the same when you're I'm not doing my so maybe. Time I know my tomb and now corner baby for Frana. Now, Hono so quana, Sikana at the same. We call private name to me to ya. A week of grand and go be. But in Yamina Dom and then ye, my ba. Almost say a buying any who be said about almost bit me their costro, almost the costra, who bit me, and I say na. Yes, I buy no ma a buffo because in to me grand tacky. Apart from that, it is a yota wall pandy and own kekam. Yen to me, it is a mess. I banish a own boy and I am back for my beyond this area, this waiting area to where they've put out of bounds to relatives, um, keep door closed. That is where the dialysis session goes in. So we've been told that there are about 15 beds. Um, or 15 machines that they go on for their sessions. But as of now, only 10 are working. And um, you can see the nurses beyond that door. The spokesperson for the Renal Patients Association is also here. We're going to speak to him and find out his thoughts about the reopening as well as how it has been today. This morning, the first session is done. Uh, they are finished. They are waiting for the second session to be on. Uh, so Karen, that's why I'm hanging around to make sure things are moving smoothly mm -hmm. so that um, they will be free. We, are, we really appreciate what they've done. Now I can see the death rate will come down because it's that they'll be getting uh, good clearance and good dialysis. So we appreciate what they've done so far. Mm -hmm. right. um, are they still charging the 380 Ghana cities? Because according to the um, press release that Kolebu released yesterday, they were asking governments to, um, you know, expedite the increment of the dialysis fee. But why, why are they even thinking of that? Why are they even thinking of increasing it to the... Yes, for me, I understand them. I know why they want to increase it. Because uh, they are owing and they want to break even. So I understand why they want to do that. But if that, even the 380, let me tell you something. Today, the unit was open and I think 10 people were called. Out of the ten, only four came. I tried to cross-check from them, and I realized that they don't have the 380 to come and pay. 
That is why they didn't come. So they are in their homes. They couldn't even get the 380. So if you still want to go to the 765.42, what would they do? So rather, parliament should be looking at how they can put it on the national health insurance so that it can cover everybody. Let's talk about the um, health minister. He's supposed to appear in parliament on Thursday. What do you expect to hear from him when he um, goes to answer those questions? Well, I don't know the questions he's going to answer, but if my, I have a chance to question him, why is government not taking care of Kolibu Dallas renal unit? Although the renal unit at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital has been opened to outpatients, it's a very quiet day, very unlike a normal Wednesday here at the renal centre. What the patients are hoping for is that other patients would be able to find the money that they require for their dialysis. Reporting for City News, my name is Inu Safo.